Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review. This one is by New Belgium. It's called Hop Avenger IPA. And um, <clears throat> this one comes in at 7.7% alcohol by volume. And I don't see the IBUs anywhere. But um, I just picked this up and... Um, Total wine and more for like uh, um, 11 bucks out the door for a six pack. Uh, today is 10, 17, 19, and this has um, uh, let me see here. I don't know, uh, it's January 2020. Probably that's the enjoy by date, it says right there. So, you know, yeah, it's probably maybe, uh, maybe I'm, this is probably really fresh. So, because it just came in, um, I don't know what kind of shelf month or a shelf life they give this stuff, but um, January 19th, 2020. Must be the enjoyed by so this is probably about less than a month old. I'm assuming. I'm assuming if you know they give it a four month shelf life, then this is probably a little less than a month old. I've never seen it before, never heard of it, but that's what the can looks like. Pretty cool. Hop Avenger. Yep, Voodoo Ranger, Hop Avenger. All right, well, let's get a crack open and see what we got here. Yeah, I got pretty excited when I saw this because I'm a big fan of uh, New Belgium beers. So we'll see what this brings to the the game field here. Let's swill a little bit there. Cool. Yeah, I love New Belgium beers. I think they're very tasty. I really love the malt that they use to make their beers. I think it's really good. Okay. So, got a monster, frothy, creamy head. Um, we have a pretty hazy, pretty hazy amber color here. That's pretty hazy unfiltered or something I'm not sure what they're going for with this one but it's definitely a hazy IPA it doesn't look like it's a New England not quite that hazy but it's pretty darn hazy that's for sure as you can see you smell the hops already yeah it's Yep, that's pretty darn hazy. Yep, alright. Well, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Okay. I'm getting like tropical fruit notes and a lot of hoppiness. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a tropical type. I wonder if they're going for a New England style here. Um I don't see any literature on here that would lead me to think that, but judging by the smell and the way it looks, it's almost like a um, New England style, but not quite, but pretty close. Well, I'm getting some uh, citrusy notes, you know, orange, pineapple, some guava. Um, definitely 
Definitely getting some hops too, some piney and some earthy kind of spices. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Look at that lacing on the glass. Real thick, frothy, creamy head. It's pretty good. Try again. I'm definitely getting like orange and guava and like maybe some pineapple look at that wow that's beautiful big um, earthy spice kind of hop notes and some pininess Yeah, a lot of uh, tropical type notes going on here, along with the piney and earthy type spices, hop notes. I'm getting that nice bready kind of malt coming through. It's pretty good. So January 20, so 10, 20, 11, 12. This is probably about a month old. I think they're giving it um, a four month shelf life. So Ribbit. I would believe this is probably about a month old. Look at that head retention. Awesome malt lacing on the glass. Mostly like um, the hoppy, piney, and kind of earthy spice type hops, and then there's the tropical notes like mainly orange and pineapple, guava, and a couple other ones that are kind of hard to explain, but kind of general tropicalness, tropicaliness. Definitely has like that earthy spice kind of bite to it. Earthy spice hop kind of bite to it. And then the pininess. I'm getting some grapefruit now. And um, yeah, definitely getting some grapefruit now. I didn't even look this up on rape beer yet, so I'm not sure what they're if it's even on there or if it is it, what kind of what category they're putting it in but um i would put this in a category of just like an unfiltered uh ipa kind of east coast style but not quite like new england it's kind of like a, a step under new england style i mean at 7.7 percent .7 alcohol you can't tell there's any alcohol in it really the taste is much more pungent than the aroma yeah, I'm getting some nice bready malt notes it's pretty good it's got a medium mouth feel no lingering bitterness on the back end. It's got just enough malt to uh, balance everything out. Yeah, it's about what I got. You got all that malt left in the glass. Really good.
Yeah, I'm getting some more uh, grapefruit kind of bitterness, kind of grapefruit rind kind of coming in a little bit. It was pretty good, man. New Belgium. Yep, they do pretty good. Voodoo Hop Avenger IPA. Ipkaye. Ribbit. Well, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this puppy mm, probably like 4.1. And uh, I'll have the description in the bottom of the video there if you want to check that out. 4.1, and that's my story. I'm sticking with it. All right, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.